Steve, Lauren, after years of measuring metrics that include physical activity, isolation, and mental health heading towards the wrong direction, this latest youth risk behavior survey shows there are being gains reversing those trends. No matter what you're going through, you can always talk to somebody. Theophilus Jones is an educator, father, and founder of Southeast Raleigh Panthers, a youth program which offers extracurricular activities and organized sports for more than 200 kids. So when you see that kid comes from in, he's shy, he's timid, maybe insecurity about their weight, and then towards the middle and the end of the season, you see, hey man, it's one of the kids that the first kids to practice, one of the kids that's telling jokes and laughing with everybody. Um, so it's a wonderful thing to see the growth of that kid. According to the Youth Risk Behavior Survey, which is administered every two years, more than 40% of high schoolers and half of middle schoolers report they were physically active for at least an hour five days a week, eight-point jumps for each group. Both also saw decreases in reports of feeling sad or hopeless. Now, DPI is supporting an effort to increase physical activity in high schools. This would put in a small requirement to try and get 60 minutes a week. Currently, the only high school graduation requirement is one semester of health and physical education. When we saw that the physical activity increased and the mental health factors turned the right direction, um, we, we thought, you know, what better time than to try and you know, capitalize on this moment. Les Bell with DPI also credits the school-based mental health policy, as well as a federal grant to increase the number of school social workers and counselors. We've actually, we're waiting to hear back on a grant application um, right now about school psychologists. Uh, we're trying to get some additional funding to recruit. According to Mental Health America, signs of loneliness in adolescents include retreating to their rooms for long periods of time, speaking with their parents more than usual, appearing to not have friends to hang out with outside of school, and talking negatively about themselves. And we don't really call them issues, we call them challenges. And we can overcome any challenges that we face once we recognize the challenge. The survey also found decreases in the number of high schoolers who reported using vape products, alcohol, or marijuana. Steve Lorne, the percent of those using cigarettes, also at an all-time low.